Hi, my name is Melanie Doty Snipes, and I'm excited to share a black bean snack adventure with you today um, in a little bit of a crazy farm kitchen. So um, black beans are one of my favorite go-to beans, um, sources of protein, very inexpensive, and you can do so many things with it. And so um, we're gonna do two recipes. And, but we're gonna start with the bean option. So, um, the most straightforward option is the dried bean. Um, I think this cost me about a dollar and 18 cents. And um, this bag of beans will double in size, so you can actually make a lot of food with it. And it's very easy to use dried beans. Um, so the first thing that I would do for the dried beans <clears throat> is just to, to give them a little bit of a rinse and then to put them into water to soak. And you can do this before you go to sleep. Um, Yep, you can do it before you go to sleep. Just set it aside on your counter. And um, as the beans soak overnight, um, they'll begin to swell and, um, and it's a whole big step of the process uh, that'll get done while you're sleeping. So um, then what we would do with the, with the beans in the morning is um, just put them on while we're starting our day. And it only takes maybe maybe half an hour or 40 minutes for the beans to get tender. Um, so if you aren't going to be using them till later, then you can just let them cool on the side and then put them in, in the fridge for later. Um, but it's super, super easy to work with dried beans. And the nice thing is that um, it's just the bean. That's all, that's all it is. Um, now, we might be under a time crunch and use a, uh, a canned bean. Um, which is fine, um, and the way that the, the beans stay, um, stay good um, for a long period of time, for several years, is that there's, they've got some um, preservative in here. And so all we want to do, absolutely, is give them a rinse. So you want to make sure that you give them a rinse until the water is clear underneath, and then you'll have these nice beans to work with, okay? So you've got two options. You've got your dried and your canned, okay? And so pretty much these are ready to go. Okay, so the two recipes. Um, over here, um, so these, besides the black beans, these are the things that go into the salsa, black bean salsa recipe. Um, so basically, I, I fairly coarsely chopped some tomatoes, some uh, purple onion, a little tiny bit of jalapeno, I put maybe half a tablespoon or so, just, just to add a little teeny bit of, um, of that nice um, hot that goes throughout the big recipe. Um, and some red pepper, and some lime juice, and some corn. Um, and the really great thing about frozen corn is they basically take it off the cob fresh. Um, they probably dunk it in hot water for just a few seconds and then they throw it in the freezer um, where they process it and so when you are using frozen corn it's like having fresh corn it's absolutely delicious so um, so pretty much in minutes um, you take your beans your cooked beans or your canned beans um, and you just take 10 or 10 or so minutes to chop up your ingredients you squeeze some lime on there um, and then you want to add um, some herbs and spices. So um, in this case, it's some salt, some pepper, um, a little garlic, cilantro that's chopped up. Um, you could, if you don't have fresh garlic, you can use powdered garlic. And then this is for our next recipe, okay? So it's super, super easy. And the nice thing about the salsa is that it's beans and corn, so it's a complete protein. Um, you can enjoy it so many ways, but if you enjoy it with um, tortilla chips, um, then it's a winning combination. So that's the salsa. We also made a black bean soup. And so we took our beans and um, we took these, these things. So that's the soup when it's done. 
um, but we took carrots, celery, and onions, and some garlic. We sauteed it with a little bit of oil, um, and then just added that, um, added some water, salt, pepper, cilantro, and then uh, the only different thing is the cumin. Um, and cumin is like one of the most common spices um, that you'd find in Mexican food um, around the world. Um, but it really it smells so nice and um, it adds a really um, kind of savory taste to the soup. So honestly, you've got your beans, you take 10 minutes to chop up veggies and throw your herbs and spices in there. And you know, they suggest that you, you do let everything cook for 15 or 20 minutes just to get all the flavors going. And you've got soup. So both of these recipes, you know, can really just be made, I would say within about half an hour, um, you know, once, once you have your beans done. So I'm really excited for you to try this. And um, thanks for joining me um, for this little black bean adventure in the farm kitchen.